In this video, I'll show you how to set the record source for a form or report. The record source is a table, query, or SQL statement that contains the actual data that is shown on a form or report. A form or report that displays records is said to be bound to a record source. If there's no record source, the form or report is said to be unbound. I'll create a new form to demonstrate setting the record source. I'll select the Employees table in this database and then use the Form tool to build a quick form based on that table. Access creates the form and displays it in Layout View with the Property Sheet open. If the Property Sheet is not already open, press F4 to open it. To make sure I'm viewing the properties for the form itself, I right-click anywhere on the form and then click Form Properties. Of course, if I were working with a report, I would select Report Properties. Here I can see the Record Source property at the very top of the All tab. Since I selected the Employees table before clicking the Form button, Access automatically entered the Employees table as the Record Source, so this form is bound to that table. When I click in the Property box, a drop-down arrow and a Build button appear. If I click the drop-down arrow, I see a list of all the tables and named queries in this database. I could select one of these, but I'd break this form unless I happen to select a query that contains all the same fields from the Employees table. If I click the Build button, Access asks me if I want to create a query based on this table. I want to add some fields from a related table, so I'll click Yes, and Access opens the Query Builder. I'll add the orders table to this query by clicking Show Table and then double clicking Orders. And then I'll add all of the fields from the Employees table to the Design Grid. I'll do that by just dragging the asterisk in the Employees table to the Design Grid. Now I'll add the Order ID and Order Date fields from the Orders table. If I click Save As on the Design tab, I can save this as a named query in the Navigation pane and then it'll appear in the list of objects in the Record Source drop-down list. But I don't think this query will be needed by any other objects in this database, so I'm just going to store the SQL statement in the Form property without creating a separate query object. I'll cancel this dialog box, and then click Close. I'll click Yes to save the changes and update the Record Source property. Now in the Form properties, I see my new SQL statement in the Record Source property box. I can right-click it and click Zoom to see the whole statement. Now if I click Add Existing Fields, I can see the Order ID and Order Date fields down here at the bottom of the field list. I'll drag them to my form, switch to Form View, and now I can start using the form.